Rachel Mosher looked outside and saw her daughter's wrecked car wreck. The season, reason, a city plow. Yeah, now she's looking for someone, someone, anyone to be held accountable for that expensive and extensive damage she has to pay out of pocket. Our 18 News reporter Ty Wong spoke with her today. He joins us now live uh, a little bit. Tell us what a story. I tell you, if I yeah. walked out the door and saw that, I don't know what I would do. I I would react just the same exact way Rachel Mosier reacted. She was shocked, mm -hmm. she was speechless, and yeah. she didn't know what to think anymore at that point. Now, Mosier's daughter car was parked right outside of Residential Street on the night of the Super Bowl, only for it to be decimated by a plow. Now, Courtney PD was able to confirm the incident did occur, but they didn't have a comment on this incident. Now, the damage is estimated to be about $1,500. Now, when she reached out to the city, she was told that New York state law protects municipal governments from liability from such incidents. Now, Zach and Jordan, a law that's been around for decades, Section 1103 of New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law states maintenance forces while engaged in highway snow and ice control operations are exempt from the rules of the road. Now that is exempting for reckless driving and Rachel and her daughter are now paying out of pocket for these repairs and she tells 18 News that she just wants someone to be held accountable. If that were you and I as a citizen and we had left the scene of an accident, there would not be such a nice outcome for us. And I want to say this law needs to be changed and you know they really need to look into these cases by cases instead of just one big law. Now Mosher says that she did reach out to the insurance company of the snowplow, but they would not cover the damage because of this law. Now we also reached out to the Corning Public Works Department, but we were told that the head of the department was out for the week and was unable to comment on the incident. Now for more on the story, just head on over to our website at mytwintiers.com. For now, reporting live in the studio, Tai Wong, 18 News.